Hello and welcome to episode three of season three of the Black Hole Podcast entitled Technology Startup. Um, It's been over a month since I've updated this uh, podcast and the progress of the technology startup. I'm trying to do a play-by-play of how to start a technology company and um, I decided it was time for an update. I'll try to keep it brief, less than 20 minutes. Uh, so, and coming up here a little bit later, I'll uh, un- unveil the domain name that I secured for the platform. Uh, but first, just a brief explanation of the platform. What I'm trying to start is a platform for elected officials to be truly transparent to their constituents. Uh, it is a platform where elected officials keep a daily or weekly podcast about their activities. They can post topics and subjects for their constituents to vote on. And they also publish their schedule for security purposes. It may be last week or last week's schedule or the day before schedule, um, the previous day schedule. That way you're not telling exactly where you're going to be in the future, but they're publishing their schedule with a detailed description of each individual they met with. Therefore, if they're meeting with lobbyists, they'll disclose that. And uh, yeah, so that's the platform. Basically, constituents can log in, see the elected officials that use the platform and listen to their podcasts and other things like that. So we're in phase one of this right now, which is just a a simple landing page that gathers information about people who visit the page. Um, So I, as I said before, I was going to post a job posting on LinkedIn, which I did to look for a web developer to help with this um, platform. And uh, so I'll just read because, again, I want people in other countries to be able to... uh, make a similar platform for their for their elected officials for their nation and uh that's why i said the founding documents which will be on this landing page so that you can copy and paste them um i release the copyright to those uh to anyone except in the united states same with uh these two documents that i'm gonna read briefly uh, if you want to use them word for word, you're welcome to to try to find your web developer for in your country. So I posted the link in. The description was seeking an applicant with experience with website building and design to partner on world changing project. Looking to start with a web page that allows visitors to fill in their email and mailing address and click submit. Once submitted, the website should organize the mailing addresses into a database and separate the email address into a mailing list. Please have the skills to deliver this type of website if you apply. As the platform evolves, the position will become full-time. You will be compensated for time working on this project. So I posted that to LinkedIn. I got uh, a little over 20 applicants um, within the first couple weeks. Uh, I replied to uh, most of the applicants um, that were qualified with the following email, and I'll read that email now. Hello and thank you for applying to my job posting on LinkedIn for web developer slash designer. I'm trying to develop a technology startup and am looking for people to create it with me. The company will be totally transparent with all major decisions being put up for vote by the investors and employees. I have devoted season three of my podcast to communicating with investors and employees about the progress of creating this company. The name of the podcast is The Black Hole and season three is entitled Technology Startup. In episode one of season three, Three entitled Technology Startup Episode 1, I explain exactly what I am looking for as a landing page for the company. The episode is less than 20 minutes long and summarizes the platform and the website I am looking to build. I am attaching a link to this podcast at the bottom of this email, but it can be found on your favorite podcast provider by searching The Black Hole. 
If you would rather not take the time to listen to this 20-minute presentation, I can communicate via email of what I am looking for, including attaching the founding document of the company. Below you will find a description of the platform. Thank you for your interest, and please let me know if you would like to remain in consideration for the position after listening. Then I said, sincerely, Mitch Miller, put the link on there. And then also included in the email, I put the description of the Scope Internet platform that I read on the episode one of this uh, season, Technology Startup ex- episode, episode one. Uh, so those are the two things I wanted to read uh, this on this episode. Um, and feel free to refer applicants to my podcast if they want to if you want to do it the way I'm doing it or you could have your own podcast where you tweak the original idea but uh, make it your own however you want to do it um, so the name the domain name that I secured for the scope internet platform is periscope that's p e r r o s c o p e dot com periscope dot com And it's a little play on words. I thought it was clever. Pero is Spanish for dog. And in English, you watch through a scope. So it could be translated as watchdog. Um, Also, a periscope is an instrument used. uh, It's a piece of equipment on a submarine to help you look above the water when you're underwater. Um, So you could see how uh, in other countries... Uh, you could take this, uh, the scope internet platform, the founding documents, and you could um, add your country's uh, word for dog so that it basically means watch a dog. Uh, you could put your company's, or I mean, your uh, country's word for dog and add scope to the end of it and try to secure that dot com or dot net or however you want to do it to uh, build the same platform, basically. Um, So I did did get, like I said, I got about 20 applicants. I I sent that email. A few responded that they were interested, uh, kind of narrowed down to one, uh, Mohammed of Morocco. He's from Morocco. He's a web developer. And uh, he, we'd had a video call so that I, I wanted to make sure it was a real person because I got some scam emails after replying to some of these applicants. And uh, he's a real person, a nice person, and uh, he uh, is, has agreed to uh, help make the landing page. So, and he's also agreed to work for uh, executive stock as compensation. So I sent him a better description of what I'm looking for for the landing page. Um, made that a Word document that I sent over to him. And uh, I also sent him a copy of the uh, executive stock certificate so that he knows what it looks like and I can fill it out and keep track of it on a database and fill out the share numbers and compensate him. I asked what he thought a fair rate of compensation, hourly compensation would be. Have not got a response back yet about that, but I'm sure we'll figure it out here in soon. Um, and I'm hoping everything works out with Muhammad. So if uh, he delivers a good product, a good landing page, that's uh, approximately what I'm looking for, then we can discuss putting him on the executive board of the company and uh, helping him helping us develop the next phase of the platform, which uh, I do have, I did disclose a little bit to him about what that would be. So uh, we had a good call uh, and hoping this works out. So that's, that's where I'm at with the uh, Periscope internet platform, the Scope internet platform. And... Uh, yeah, so I don't know what else I really have to say. If you want any of these documents, you can email me uh, through either my websites, plotm.com, that's plot, the letter m.com, 
or Mitch for Mayor.com. That's Mitch, the number four, Mayor.com. Email me, fill out an email form. It'll go to one of my emails, and I can get back to you with uh, the founding documents, uh, the operating document, the description, uh, or even the uh, the Word document I made that details what I'm looking for for a landing page. Uh, I would like to add more people to this team, and not just Muhammad, but uh, add more web developers, and uh, we're going to need a team of five or six to develop the platform probably. Um, so I'm still looking for people. Uh, I'm not posting any uh, any job postings yet for those positions. Uh, I'll have to talk to Muhammad about what we're going to need to develop this thing all the way. Um, but that's where we're at now. So uh, if you'd like to be part of a groundbreaking um, platform, one that brings transparency, honesty, and takes big money out of politics, uh, reach out and contact me. Thanks for listening to the podcast. Uh, and uh, I told Muhammad that it's fine since he agreed to work for executive stock. Uh, that he could do it in, at his leisure. Uh, so not sure when this landing page will come out, but it will have some of these documents on it. And uh, so that's kind of where we're at now. Uh, looking for, to rule out phase one and hoping everything works out with that. So... Thanks for listening to the podcast. This was a, a brief one. Uh, when I get some traction going, when I hear back from Muhammad, I'll roll out another uh, update. And um, not too much update on the uh, clothing line. I'm still coming out with new designs every every uh, month just about on the Plot M website. If you go to the Utica B tab, that's the clothing line I'm trying to develop. And uh, not too many other updates as of right now with uh, any of my projects. Um, so please uh, like and share. I told Muhammad I might mention his name on the podcast so he'd be internet famous. Uh, even though I only have about 30 people that listen to the podcast. So please like and share the podcast and uh, subscribe if you can. You'll get an update when I, when I update again. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks to our sponsor. Um, 542 Prince has rebranded as the Neon Grouse or Neon Grouse. Uh, screen printing and embroidery so you can go to neongrouse.com there's a uh, Nick got new software where you can design your shirts right on his uh, website you can upload images you can upload designs you can there's a uh, stock art on there you can design your own t-shirt and um, or sweatshirt or whatever and get a quote right online as to what it would cost with that design and order it right through there pay with a card all through this uh, website so neongrouse.com thanks to neon grouse for their support and their partnership on my clothing line uh, so that's uh, pretty much it for the sponsors uh, I haven't checked with the sponsors that I used on season two to see if they would if they're interested in sponsoring uh, this season uh, I'm not sure if everyone's on board with transparency and elected officials I don't want to assume anything so you know the sponsors from season two uh, they have they continue to support me in uh, non-monetary ways and uh, I appreciate that so Thanks for listening, and I'll update you when I have a landing page. Uh, you can always check periscope.com to see if there's anything up. 
but I still haven't uh, paid for the hosting yet. And uh, I just I just paid for the domain name. I'll have to pay for hosting, and uh, we'll talk to Muhammad about that and get that worked out. So thanks for listening, and uh, thanks for sharing, and thanks for your support. Take care.